So in this video, I'm going to show you how to import a large SQL file um, into a MySQL database. Because being a developer, you are going to come across an issue where you're trying to import a database which is too large, which just times out, or there's an upload limit. For example here, if I wanted to import a database um, using phpMyAdmin, currently um, I have a limit of around 2 gig. Um, it's usually shorter than that. Um, on shared hosting um, which becomes more of a problem um, you can use SSH to do a database import but um, using this method I'm going to show you it's a lot easier first of all you want to go to ozerov.de slash big dump um, this is the, the script we're going to use to import our large database you need to click the third tab here you need and click download um, this big dump.php file um, if it doesn't download on first click just right click click save link as and just download the zip file you will get this message down here um, just click this arrow and click keep um, it's just saying can it be trusted but I've used this before um, and I don't find any issue with it so with that downloaded um, just open where you download it to and just extract the files there that's that's fine um it's just a a big dump.php file um so if we copy that and go to the root of your website just right click new folder I'll just call it dump open it up and paste the big dump.php file inside there um and next we need to get our large database um, I have this database here which is around four or five gig um, so I'm going to copy that database and add it in the same folder I've put this big dump.php file so I'll just wait for that to move over to that folder once you have your large database in the same folder as your big dump.php file open big dump .php um, in a code editor so we need to add um, your database details inside this big dump.php file uh, the main bit we need to edit is from line 41 to 44 so your database server you can leave as local host um, so we need the database name which is just nativedev um, database username I'm using my local environment using Laragon um, which is root and I'll just get the database password and once you've filled out these database details in bigdump.php save the file and then in your browser go to your website where we've put bigdump.php so I've put mine in the root of my website in a folder called dump it's inside there so if I navigate to that folder now so slash dump at bigdump.php so this is the page which you get once you go to that bigdump.php file um, and you, as you can see it's picked up the database.sql file I've got in that same folder so all you need to do now is click start import but before you actually click start import um, make sure the database you import into the database is empty and all the tables have been dropped so I need to do that here go into here and I'll check all tables click drop confirm the dropped now that database I'm going to import this large database to is empty so if I go back to dump big dump.php give it a refresh and click start import then after clicking start import um, you have this screen up and this progress bar will go from 0 all the way to 100 uh, depending on how large the database is it's a staggered MySQL import so it may take quite a while to import um, this one only took around half an hour because um, it was around 4 or 5 gig um, but if you've got like a database which is around you know uh, 10 15 gig it might take a little bit longer it's also worth noting that in um, in the root of your website 
after the import's complete, delete the dump folder and the files within it. Also, another thing to note on this big dump.php, if you're doing this on a live server, um, you might get an error saying um, you can't start the import. It's because you need to change the permissions to 777 on this dump folder because um, it needs to have access to to write the SQL file to the database. But once it's all imported and you get that success message um, at the end, just delete the folder and the files within it and you're good to go. So that's a really um, easy method of importing a large SQL file to a MySQL database, whether it's WordPress or anything else. So if you found this video useful, um, click like on this video, uh, click subscribe and click that bell to receive any future notifications. And I'll see you in the next video.